Small fraction will be presented by the symbol X. It can be defined as the number of moles of one component in a mixture divided by the total number of moles of substances present in the mixture. The mole fraction is the concentration of a solution as the number of moles of the solute divided by the total number of moles, meaning that we need to get the number of moles for every component in the mixture and then we're going to find the percentage. Ah, but this is not percentage, this is mole fraction. So there's no percent sign at the end of the unit. The formula for mole fraction, for example, we want to get the mole fraction for A, we need to find the number of mole of A. So, XA equals to the number of mole of A divided by the sum or total mole for all components. So, depending on how much component do you have in the solution, it will become the total um, for the formula. So, NA divided by NA plus NB plus NC plus ND and so on. Finally, when we get all the mole fraction for A, B, C and so on, if we uh, total everything together, it will come back to 1. Percentage by mass can be calculated by taking the number of grams of solute, divided it by 100 grams of solution. For example, if you see at the bottle it says 20% weight per weight for NaCl, it means there are 20 grams of NaCl in 100 grams of solution. It's not solvent, it's solution. So if you want to calculate the percentage by mass, the formula is mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution. Let's do example 1.9a. The density of 10.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution is 1.33 gram per centimeter cube at 20 degrees Celsius. Calculate the mole fraction of sodium hydroxide. So we know that the molality given is 10.5. Convert it into the formula over kg so we get the mass of solvent h2o water is one kilogram meaning that we can find the number of mole of water so the number of mole of water is 1000 grams gotten from the uh, 1 kilogram water divided by 18 gram per mole and you will get 55.56 mole. What is the total number of mole for all component? 10.5 mole of sodium hydroxide plus 55.56 which we have calculated. So, the mole fraction now is 0 0.159. Notice that it does not have any unit. For B, the density of 10.5 molal sodium hydroxide solution is given. The percentage by mass is the one that we need to calculate. So, we need to find the mass of solute. 10.5 mole multiplied by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, we get 420 grams. So 420 grams divide by the total mass for the solution, which is solute plus solvent, 420 plus 1000. Multiplied by 100, we get 29.6%, 2 marks. Now, C. 
we need to calculate the molarity of the solution. First, we need to find the volume of the solution. We have mass of the solution and density of the solution. So we use those two figures to get the volume, which is now become 1067.67 milliliters. Finally, we calculate the molarity by dividing 10.5 mol with 1.068 liters. The answer is 9.834 molal. Let's do example 1.10, number 1. Given 24 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in 152 grams of water, calculate the mass percent. So you are given 24, we divide 24 with total mass, 24 plus 152. So we get 13.64%, 1 mark. Question 2. Calculate the percent by mass concentration of a solution prepared by dissolving 10 grams of certain substance into 175 milliliters of butyl ethanoate, which has a density of 0.88 grams per centimeter cube. So we need to list down the information that we have in order for us uh, to see what should we do. Mass of solute is 10 grams. Volume of solvent is 175. The solvent now is butyl ethanoate, not water. And the density of solvent given 10.88. So you have two types of solvent and we need mass for percentage. So we need to find the mass of solvent by using the density. We get the mass of solvent 154. And then we insert into the formula and get the answer 6.1. This will give you two marks. Finally, the last one is percentage by volume. The concentration of a solution here is expressed as a percent by volume. It is defined as the number of ml of solute contained in 100 ml of a solution. For example, if you have 14% volume over volume ascorbic acid, it means that there are 14 ml of ascorbic acid in 100 ml of solution. So shown to you is the formula. Example 1.11, a uh, 200ml of perfume contains 28ml of alcohol is considered. What is the percent by volume of alcohol in this solution? So here the alcohol is the solution. 28ml over 200ml because it's the total solution times 100 is 14 percent. This will give you one mark. Well done. Shown to you here is the summary of all five concentration measurements we have learned. Molarity is mole of solute over volume of solution. Molality is mole of solute over mass of solvent. Mole fraction is mole of A divided by mole of all percentage weight by weight is mass of solute over total mass and finally percent volume or volume is volume of solute over total of volume. Alhamdulillah, we finish lesson 5. See you soon. Assalamualaikum.